How's it going everyone? This is the Mr. Remake here, and welcome back to once again another episode of Let's Visit Monaco Town. We are back, and hopefully my voice doesn't give out. I have been sick the past few days, as you guys heard from Monday's episode, and some Skyblock episodes that you guys will be seeing in the future. But yeah, I am not having too much fun with this cold. It's almost gone. It's so close, but yet so far. I feel like it's it's there, and, and it's it's not going anywhere though. <laughs> and it really sucks, and I cannot wait to get over it. Uh, so, anyways, today, guys, we are gonna be doing a jail, some jail cells. We're not gonna be doing like a big jail building like we did the first, the first uh, episode, uh, the first, like, I mean, first season, I should say. Uh, the first season we had this whole building. I mean, I can't even go back and, like, yeah, let's, nah, I don't feel like it's necessary. Uh, nah, it's, it's necessary, let's do it. Why not? Why not? Yeah. And by the way, guys, if you guys are wondering with all, like, the weird buildings that I have, weird, yeah, what the heck is all this? I've been really bored lately, so what uh, I've been trying to do... Well, I'm not too bored, but like, like on days that I've already recorded and filmed and stuff, I went into my uh, map. Here, yeah, I've been trying to make it like a little bit of like a parkour course. The yellow wall is just for representation. I want to work with it a little bit more on what I actually do with it. Um, but like, yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever make this like a parkour course, but I thought it would be a fun idea. Alright, anyways, guys, this is my jail house. It's such oddly shaped, but uh, we had like all these jail cells here. We had the warden, the warden, yeah, right here, and we had the execution room, which I will not be building this time. It was a nice idea, but just kind of unnecessary. Alright, but anyways, guys, let us quit it out and let's go back to Monica Town season two. The world that matters and let's get started now the reason I'm near here is because I felt like it'd be a good idea to actually clear this out and make this about like maybe two jail cells or something like that I don't know I thought it would be a good idea oh yeah I did show you guys one other feature about it which I used a uh, thing by Seth Blake yes I actually used something by Seth Blake um, but the like the chest that had like the food in it, I used like redstone to work that in and stuff. Uh, by the way, there was some guy that commented on a video the other day uh, on my the Super Bowl thing that I did with my friends, and I'm dropping frames. Holy shit! I really hate this. I don't know why he keeps on doing this. All right. Anyways, guys, I, the guy like commented. He was like, "Fuck you, uh, Seth Big's awesome." I like Seth Link too, and I mean, I don't know about my other friends that were in that video, but I like Seth Link. I, I think he's very informative, I think that he is pretty cool, I mean, I yeah, I feel like he uses a, a little too much redstone to the fact that some people with not so great computers can handle it, but I mean, otherwise, his ideas are pretty good. His redstone contraptions are pretty freaking awesome. I think he's very talented uh, as a commentator and as a builder in Minecraft. Now, the reason that we make fun of it, though, is just because we had a very bad experience in Team Fortress 2 because of so much lag and stuff. So, therefore, anything that Seth Play made, we made a joke saying that we absolutely hate Seth Play. But I don't personally hate Seth Link. I don't know about the other guys. But I like him. I think he's pretty cool. And uh, I don't have anything against him. Other than the fact that maybe his maps can be kind of laggy. But I mean, since I've got my new computer, I haven't experienced too much lag. Except for the like the random drops in frames like I've been getting so far this episode. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's a little bit... Uh, I, I feel like it's a little bit unnecessary though for people to comment saying like uh, like i i find it frustrating when someone makes a constructive criticism 
or just criticizes their favorite LP or they have to go all defensive about it. Like, don't defend them. Like, I understand that you like them. That's your opinion. My opinion is the fact that, you know, we don't like him. I mean, I mean, the situation is that we do like him. Like, or at least I do. I mean, I have nothing against Seth Blake, but I mean, I don't need a whole bunch of people getting angry at me just because I have my, our my friends have my own their own opinions like i feel like it's kind of i mean i know it's youtube it's youtube people comment like a bunch of idiots i feel like it's it's so unnecessary to the point where it just kind of gets frustrating so i mean it's uh, it, no offense to the guy that even commented like he has every right to get mad but i feel like we've that people get so defensive about their so we're not gonna go close to them this time. Um, I feel like people get so defensive about their LPs that like if anyone said like one bad thing about them, they're gonna get like they're gonna go haywire, and that shouldn't be the case. If you if we have an issue with them, we're going to we're you're, we're going to say it. you're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, I mean it's a free country. At least I'm pretty sure it's a free country. Uh, I mean, unless I'm wrong, unless I'm apparently living in Bulgaria, and I don't know, and it's not as free, I mean, actually, I don't know what Bulgarians, like, if they have rights or anything like that, but, besides that, I'm just saying that I have a right to my opinion, so, uh, and, like I said, I don't hate Seth Bling, so, I hope you didn't get the wrong idea by that, uh, so, I, so, yeah, I'm for, forming, like, just two jail cells where they're gonna be sleeping. We'd have, like, we'll have, like, a little water patch here. How far is, is that? It's three. I'm really lagging out. I don't know why. I, I hate when that happens. It's just so, so frustrating. And, alright. Seems, this seems legit. Alright, let me get a water bucket. And let's get a bed. Oh, and uh, it's kind of ironic that I'm building a jail cell on probably like the one of the worst days on Corrales history. I mean, people could probably, uh, although me, me and the man cave have a different opinion about it. Mainly Mudkip because Mudkip has been on the server for a while. Uh, but something happened recently at, at which, uh, it, it, in fact, like really recently, like over the course of the past few days uh that the something was happening to the server at which everything was crashing things were just going completely wrong with it and uh the re we found out the reason today was because of these uh some of the mod moderators felt like the the other mods were using the donator money for their own for their own business, like buying gifts for them and not using it towards making it a better server or just not going it towards like Corrales or something like that. Or I, I mean, I tell you the truth, I don't know where that money goes to when it comes to serve when it comes to server money. I'm almost positive it goes to the server, unless I'm wrong. Um, but I'm pretty sure I know I know what I'm talking about. I know I know I know what I'm talking about. Um. And it, it was so, it's so strange because some of the mods that were actually involved in, like, screwing up the server and stuff were some of our favorite mods, and, uh, we are, or admins, I should say, because some of them were actually admins. Um, and it was so, why are you freaking lagging me out? God dang it. Alright, I'll pause for a second until this frame rate goes up. But, it, I just, it blows my mind because these people... Like, they are not the bad guys, I don't think, that in my opinion, in my in Man Cave's opinions. Because, according to them, it seems like the admins care more about themselves than they do. Than, than, than like, the servers, than the servers do. I mean, wait, I'm sorry, what? I have to fix that. They care more about themselves than they care about the server. That's why I meant to say the first time. Excuse whatever my weirdness was. Um... But I found that, personally, I, I we kind of believe them because the 
the admins, the, those admins, like, they were pretty cool people. They were nice to everyone on the server. They cared about the server a lot. They were on there more than the admins that are still there who are on and the admins that are, are like, allegedly uh, buying gifts for themselves. Um, and it's kind, of, it, it's kind of frustrating, you know, because for all we know, they probably are that the... the the admins that we like that did this more are probably right or they could be wrong just making up stuff i don't know who the good guys or the bad guys are but our opinion is that the good guys were the people that actually ended up starting this whole server crashing and stuff now this is does this mean that we're completely like like say screw you corrales and not go on anymore probably not <laughs> we're not going to be like that but we are like considering maybe not like hating on the people who caused this because truth be told there's a chance that they did this for a good reason so whatever they want whatever we believe well i, I we we strongly believe it was they did the good that they did a not a right thing but that we don't believe that they are the bad guys in the situation and that's just personally what we believe uh and uh we until we find out further we'll stick by the good friends over there all right so what i'm thinking for this is maybe open this up and we'll go maybe like fence fence gate almost all right we'll go like this Freaking lagging out big time. I don't know why. What the heck is going on? Alright. Let's get to the fence gate. I don't know what's going on with this right now, guys. Alright. It's back to normal for right now. And we'll put like a big sign right here saying uh, Maniacal Jail. And we'll block this off. Some stone. Not doing too much to the decor because I don't want it to look good. I kind of want it just to look like they're they're stuck in a cave because they've done bad things almost. And uh, actually, let's complete this. All right. Well, guys, it seems like we did a good job. With this, I'm going to block this cave off for right now. Yeah, I'll do something with it later. And it looks like we did it. Cell 1, cell 2. It's the jail. Uh, is there anything that I feel like we need to add? I, don't, I really don't think so. Let's uh, get those more stuff. Uh, I already have the stone block in my inventory. Alright. And we go like this. And we it just bleed into our jail cells right here. So one guy would be in here, one guy would be in here. And just for the fun of it, let's put this away. Let's be fast about this too. Hopefully my frame rate don't drop. Go. Nice, he walked to the end. <laughs> Why is it always a like a priest that spawns though? That's so weird. Alright, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode even though we've had this constant drop of frames. That's really, really frustrating. Uh, so, yeah, the Corella server is going to hopefully be back up and running. We'll probably start a new world. Uh, I Anyone that's still a member of it, I can encourage you to keep on going on there because it still will be a lot of fun. It's fun to restart and sometimes and you know start going and maybe like you guys will be like the dominant town. Or maybe like the other town, or the same towns will be the dominant ones again, or whatever. Uh, but it still would be fun, even if you were in a dominant town, you could still mine around. You get to still have those PvP weekends. Like, it's still going to be a lot of fun. And don't think that the because some of the mods just crashed the server, all the fun is lost. I know you lost maybe lost a lot of diamonds along the way, with all the server crashes and stuff, but... At the end of the day, I feel like it's would be it's going to be a lot of fun just rebuilding it and redoing everything uh, step by step, rebuilding our town, 
uh, continue mining some more diamonds and restarting from the very very beginning. I'm excited to see what we can do. I, I mean, the, to be honest, with the original Corella server, it seems as it seemed as if I just didn't really do anything. Uh, but this time, I'm probably gonna end up working a lot harder on helping out my town, whatever town I am, get stuck with. All right, guys. So that's the update with the Corella server. And uh, the other thing I was talking about was the was Seth Bling and his fans. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say about that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the Mr. Remake here for another episode of Let's Visit Maniacal Town. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Favorite if you really like it. And if you don't, please tell me why in the comments below. Any feedback is good feedback. I'm the Mr. Remake. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.